So in 2004, NASCAR introduced the chase. So let's pick up the chase. The chase. <laughs> it was put into place in an effort to make the points battle more exciting. The top 10 drivers of the season would basically be separated from the rest of the field so they could go head to head. To head, 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 to head. Over the past 15 years, it has undergone several changes, adding more drivers, bonus points for wins, etc. But none would be more controversial than the 2014 format change of win and you're in. Basically, if you want to race, you were in the chase. Now upon hearing this, I was intrigued. There was more emphasis on winning and maybe the drivers would try harder during the regular season. And I thought it started out good. I mean, heck, we opened with an Earnhardt going to victory lane at Daytona and you know, that's special. And then this happened. We pretty much uh, might be in the chase. Hang on, worry about that. Get that off our chest. And we're two times Daytona 500 champion. Dale Jr. won a single race and the pressure was off to make the chase for the next 24 races. Yeah, I know, he's gotta finish in the top 30. He's in a Hendrick car, he's fine. But there's a big problem here because your top 16 in the playoffs aren't your best 16. That year, Eric Amarola won a rained out Coke Zero 400. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Because he won that race, someone that was better than him in better equipment missed out on a chance to be in the chase. Not saying he would have beat Harvick, but you get the point I'm trying to make here. Now there definitely should be some focus on winning races, that is a debatable. But it should not come at the cost of the integrity of the sport. I mean, would you not want your best drivers of that particular season racing for the championship? I mean, if some drivers win, cool. Just. Award them some points, send them on their way. But you can't let a guy in 20th have a leg up on the guy in 16th because of a single win. That is not a fair way to set up a championship battle. Now before I go in on the biggest problem, I do have to talk about one positive that the format does bring. Burn. Look at Randy Orton Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Yeah, the heat is on during the playoffs. The format has given us some pretty entertaining moments. I'm sure the drivers would beg to differ, but you gotta love the fire, passion, and desperation both in and out of the car. It's because of this that I can understand why some people might enjoy the format. It's entertaining to watch and see what the drivers, crew chiefs, and sometimes the entire teams will do. Speaking of drama and tension, that's pretty much the perfect segue into the last problem that I will discuss. This is the biggest issue the format has and it has been ever since it began. A single race to crown the champion. If you look up Real Radman on Twitter, you'll see this post. This post is 100% right. A Final Four championship race is basically saying that the top driver that year does not deserve to be champion. That driver only deserves to have a shot at it in the last race. Heaven forbid that driver like blow a tire or something haven't ran well enough to be in the number one spot all season long. Now it can be argued that if the driver in second or third are close enough and the driver in first have a bad race, the driver in second and third can capitalize and have a shot. The problem is the drivers in second, third, and fourth didn't fight and claw their way up to be tied with the leader in the first place. It's handed to them. Think about it, how much less impressive would it be if Alan Kowicki was just handed a tie with Davey Allison? What about when Richard Petty came back against Darrell Waltrip? Or heck, even in the chase when Stewart rallied to beat Carl Edwards? The most fundamental thing that NASCAR seems to be missing about these exciting points battles is that it wasn't just about one race. It was about the rally over a long stint of races to get to that championship determining race. And nothing was given to these guys along the way to quote unquote make things interesting. This format has all the shine of a single race championship, but none of the substance because none of the work was put into it. It's all manufactured tension. I'm not trying to take anything away from Logano, Bush, Harvick, Truex, or Johnson. This is not about the drivers. This is about the broken playoff system. It needs to be changed. NASCAR has created this mess 
and it is high time that they clean it up.